Okay, thank you. It's coming, honey. I just wanted you guys to see how happy Gracie gets for her little like fuck cup. It's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> how did you know? How did you? Gracie, where are we going now? Where am I taking you now, little stinky butt? I took Gracie to Lakeland to try to get cute pictures, but I think we came at a bad time because it is super hot. The sun is very, very bright. And, like, I mean, I went all out. Like, I brought change of clothes and everything because I wanted it to be cute, but um, the lighting is just not ideal. So she is definitely pooped because even when I try to pull her to get her to come to me, she tries to slip out. Oh, honey, are you sleepy? You just got here and you're already sleeping. Sleeping on me. Oh boy, Gracie, can you guess where we're going? <laughs> I know you're so excited. I have actually been here before with Gracie. This is, uh, I can't see, Dinosaur World. Um, Gracie loves Dinosaur World. I've taken her here before. Oh, this is the way to Dinosaur World, the world of dinosaurs. I've taken Gracie here before and she had an absolute blast and it's dog friendly. So I really like to find things around the area that you can bring your dogs to. And this entrance this way, and this one's dog friendly, so I mean, I'm pretty thrilled. Open daily, nine to five, and we're in luck because it's three o'clock, so we've got two hours of joyful fun to have. And then we have something else planned too for the night. Not gonna tell you what it is. Not gonna tell anybody what it is just yet. All right, best friend, you ready? You ready for this? Let's go, let's go do this. Okay, and like, what a deal, right? Like, it's only $16 for me to get in. And I know Gracie's free, because last time she was free, unless they started charging for... Gracie, you like that one? Good, good, very good. Okay, so it, it cost me a little bit more, because of course I had to be extra and get the fish food so we could feed the fish. But, um, hello. Wowee. And they marked on the map where the dog water station is but I didn't grab the map, I kind of forgot. I was too excited. And she said if I go on the playground, I gotta keep my mask on. So remember that. Do you remember this place? Remember? No? Oh, Gracie likes this. Uh, Acrocanthosaurus. Wow, yeah, really nice. I like it a lot, very good. Let's go, come on, let's go see more. Peas, peas. We got this trio here. They look like they're up to no good. Oh, look at those. I'm not going to lie, the playground looks legit. Like, it looks so fun. I wish I could go on it, but there's a lot of kids. And where would I put Gracie? Over there, they have the fossil dig. I didn't actually end up paying extra to do the gem dig or fossil dig or whatever it was. All right, up ahead to our right, you will see that we have the Uoplosocephalus. Wait, stop, we have to look. Admire. Welcome to Dinosaur World. Why are we running? So yeah, if you're driving on I-4, you might have drove by this if you went to Tampa. They got the giant Tyrannosaurus out, huge billboard, and a big sign that says, Dinosaur World. You can't miss it, exit 17, you gotta stop by. Hi, little guy. Okay, this is so visually appealing. Like, uh, look at that. I feel like we're really going into, <gasps> we dropped the fish food. Hold your stinky horses. Okay, we got it. 
This dinosaur doesn't have a body. He's just kind of two legs with a head sticking out. Reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Uh-oh, is that raindrops I feel? I think so. The last time that we were here, I definitely said this would be really cool if it were abandoned. I still feel the same, like this is really neat. So like every few minutes you'll kind of see dinosaurs in the woods. That would be cool. Over there behind this bush is the T-Rex game show, which is not active right now, probably because there's nowhere to social distance in a bleacher. All right, here's the map. She told me that the water dishes are like right here and that if I want to feed fish to go to 16. So I mean, we'll get, I think we're gonna go up and around. We'll do like a loop. Oh, Gracie, will you please take a picture with me right here? Can we just set up the camera? Let's try it. All right, come here, you thirsty? I mean, this doesn't look the most appetizing, but. Oh, wait, you are. Oh my God, how cute, you are thirsty. Are you? All right. In here, we have the mammoths of the Ice Age. Enter. All right. What do you think about this? Good? Good? I just kind of like when she like looks over and actually looks at everything. I don't know if she's scared or she's just like, what are we doing here? Or I don't, I don't know what she's ever thinking. What do mammoths wear when they go swimming? Their trunks. <laughs> the whole family's laughing. Oh, little Fifi, guess what? You got your picture right there once. You remember that? Do you remember? Right here, we picked you up. It was hard. It was not easy to accomplish. You want another one? Oh dear. I almost did a big no-no and played with the touch and tells because I'm an idiot. That's why. Oh, do you hear that on the tin roof? Raindrops. But first we got quacky adorses. Oh, look at the babies. Look at the little babies. You see the babies? Don't care. Okay. The garbage cans are so themed. How festive is that? Sheesh, pal. She's like on a mission from God right now. I don't know what she's thinking she's getting to. She probably thinks she's going back to the car soon if she keeps going. But unfortunately for her, there's a lot more to see. Whoa, 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 whoa. We almost just walked past the skeleton garden. The elephant graveyard is no place for a young cub. Wow, look at all that. That's such a beautiful sculpture. <laughs> This thing is so old that they have like this like old phone book on here. I don't know that we could set this up and get a picture. Oh, oh wow, paleontology. I am a paleontologist. That's who I am, that's who I am. Yeah. I am a paleontologist. Ooh, frightening, very frightening. Ooh, even more frightening. They're really dark. And if it rains, Gracie and I are in the coolest spot ever because like there's there is nobody in here. There's really nobody here. But there was a lot of people here when we walked in. So I kind of eased back a little because Gracie's not a huge people person. She takes after me. You probably wouldn't believe that I'm shy, but I am super shy. Like very shy. Okay, the ones in the woods are bloody and go look at the butterfly are bloody and gory and there's like guts hanging out and all that kind of stuff smiley don says have a nice day and over here we have another very gory scene um this one has decided to carry around these babies um yeah okay i'm not seeing many fish in here I'm hoping maybe there's a different one that has fish. Oh, bloody heck, what is that? That's just, oh, that's art, that, that's art. Okay, um, we have another really beautiful art piece here. Uh, oh. Feed the birds, show them you care. <gasps> Look at all of them. Can you see them? Look at the big billy bells. The, the, the basses with the big mouths. Oh, wow. And look at that beautiful water fountain. All right, this is the de-onioning, whatever it says, uh, okay, islands. 
Um, I I don't honestly. It's it's a rare occasion. I don't have words for some of this stuff. It's it's real life and it's really educational. So bring your kids. They'll love it. Look at this one. He just kind of pops right out at you. Now I do have another destination for the evening and that destination is 40 minutes away. So we're gonna start walking a little bit faster so we can get there before it starts to get a little darker. What time is it? 3.40, 3.40. Okay, we got this. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, babies. Maybe, I don't know if they're babies or if they're just small. There is so many different kinds of dinosaurs that I never even knew about until I came here to this park. Tell me there's another koi pond and I didn't even know. Any fish food? No. So we've been at the water bowl station for a good 15, 20 minutes and now time is going because so many, because so many employees came over and wanted to meet her and there, a lot of them are ex-zookeepers. Well, one of them is an ex-zookeeper and she said that it's funny to be here as an ex-zookeeper because She's at a place that she doesn't have to feed or take care of the animals anymore. Which I was like, that is kind of funny. All right, now we're gonna try to make our way back to our car and get back on the road. But this was a fun little stop, huh? And now Gracie just made a dog friend. It's a little doodle dog. And that took up another few minutes. We are losing daylight. We gotta be friendly. We're friendly people. That's just me and you, right? That's us. We're a good crew. We're like the friendly duo. We have faces of angels. Well, after all that time, I just found out that I didn't need to wear a mask that entire time. I know I'm like kind of an adult. Well, all right, yeah, I'm supposed to be an adult, but you know, I want this dinosaur nightlight. Gracie wants out. Okay, honey, we can go, we can go, we can go. Can I just please throw our receipt away in this guy? I just really want to do that. Wait for me. That was fun. Have you guessed where we're going yet, Gracie? I'm sure you're so exhausted at this point that you're kind of like, I really don't care. But we're going to, we're in Tampa. <laughs> he went to Tampa so we could go to the doggy beach. I want to go to Davis Island with my little girlfriend. I thought she'd like it. It was just, you know, it kind of messed up though it going so late, but how beautiful. Look at all the party girls getting wild out there and freaky. Nope. I'm so happy for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Hello. Go in. Gracie. Gracie. She's having so much fun. She's like running up and down and playing with everyone and she's just having a good time. I haven't smiled this much in so long. Three. It's like the same age. Yeah. We have like action happening. Look at how gigantic this boat is. <laughs> this was one million percent worth every second of it, of that drive. Don't like her out by that fence. He shook off in the water. I'm so happy for you. Look at this little guy coming. Look at this little one. Percy, look at that little guy. Look at the little baby. Well, I don't think it's a baby. Okay. Look at he's chasing you. Percy, look. 
I love when these little dogs come over and want to play with Gracie. Gracie. <laughs> come on. I had her on her leash to leave so we could go watch the sunset on an actual beach and she was running and dragging me in the water so I just let her off with her harness. She likes it. She loves it. Look at this dog going after these ducks. Okay, he had to turn back. But I mean, he's like legitimately out there getting those ducks. There's my pretty girl. Hi! Hi, Smiley. Can, come here. I want to show you something new. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like this rain. I drove... That's enough of that. I drove to the real beach to watch the sunset with my baby. So earlier I was saying that there's like a rainbow. I don't know if you can see it because it's still there. I don't really know the rules of this park, so it's not like I'm gonna let her off. She also pretends she's deaf, she's not. So we're just gonna play it by ear. Seashells, honey. What are you, what, what's that? I don't want to go in with you, I'm sorry. I'm a sucker. I, 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 I love her so much. So I was like, um, we really want to go in a little deeper. We can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How pretty. These moments with her are like the best reasons that I'm alive. <laughs> My little water dog. Oh, oh. Oh. Well, the sun has kind of set. I just rinsed her off. There's some doggies, and right behind those doggies is a sign that I just saw that says no dogs allowed. So we're gonna Pretend we never did anything and leave. Gracie, did I ever tell you I love you so much? Okay, well I do. It was a really, 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 really pretty night. And I think we got a cute picture. I don't know, maybe not. Who knows, right? I'm sure you just want to dig your head in this. Oh, there you go, I knew it. <laughs> I knew she was thinking that. As soon as she got on the grass, I was like, she wants to splash her head. No, flip, what is, what's the word? Sploot her head there. Look at how pretty the city is. Well, okay, my camera's a little foggy. And that didn't help. That didn't help either, but it's pretty. Yeah, you like it? There we go. Yeah, I like that. So yesterday, I broke my phone case. So I went to Disney Springs and I lost my phone. Some guy came up to me and he goes, um, I just saw you as the lock screen to a phone I just turned in, but <gasps> isn't it so cute? I just took Gracie to get some lunch with me. Well, actually dinner, cause it's getting to be like a little bit late. So she usually has dinner around five. So I'm not like super early, but we went to a dog park and there was no dogs there. So I felt really bad. So, you hungry? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> she loves grilled chicken. She loves rice. She gets like upset belly aches a lot. So the vet always said get chicken and rice for her. Schmutzy pool. Does anybody else feel like going to Chick-fil-A is like such a hassle? Like it's like a big project. Like, okay, look. So first of all, they want it to be like you're doing your driver's test. So it's funny because that song is on the driver's license song for like teenage girls. And um, you got all these parking cones and then you have to loop around the building and then you have to like make sure you're staying in your lane and don't hit anything. 
and then it's just it's just so hard and I've been here for a while I could check my app and see how long I've been here okay I got here at 406 it's 417 and I ordered one grilled chicken nugget for Gracie to have for dinner <laughs> people love this love this chicken I honestly like this driver's license song by the way 